I once shit my pants in jujitsu class. You want to talk about embarrassing. You know, at the time, a lot of pretty girls weren't coming into jujitsu class. More and more are starting to embrace jujitsu, which is awesome, but this was a, a year or two ago, and our jujitsu school was like a real boys' club. So one day, this beautiful girl walks in to observe class, <clears throat> and I have to face off against a guy named Salah Salim. Salah Salim's maybe five foot six on the books, 20 feet tall in jujitsu height <clears throat> because uh, he's he's a great jujitsu fighter and I thought so I don't want to fight you he goes we'll roll light <clears throat> and if you ever go to jujitsu class and someone says let's roll light don't trust that person so we start tussling and of course he's just destroying me in front of this woman I'm getting so embarrassed and he does this move knee on belly where I'm laying on the ground and he puts his knee right in my belly and I hear this and I said, oh no, oh Lord, no. And I look over and the girl, the expression on her face was as if she had just watched somebody murder a kitten or something. She was just like, and I thought, please dear Lord, let Salah just choke me unconscious so I don't have to be awake for this embarrassing moment. But the Lord didn't grant my wish and I stayed awake while he did another neon belly and I heard it again and I shit my pants in jujitsu class good heavens can you imagine man it sucked and the girl was just not impressed she was not impressed at me and uh people are laughing and one of my friends said hey you finally got your brown belt that's not funny that's not funny to me. So, the point of my story is, if you go to a jujitsu class, if you ever decide to sign up for jujitsu, whatever you do, don't eat a bag of White Castle before class. That's all I'm saying.